five Australians teed off this morning and it is the young gun Jason Day who's the pick of them and even past 71 a solid performance by the 23 year old from Queensland playing in his first US Open performance Mark Leishman a solid two over par 73 Adam Scott had a topsy-turvy day seven bogeys and four birdies in his round of 74 while well, Greg Chalmers and Nico Hearn have also completed their round. Six Australians out this afternoon. John Sendon, Scott Henn, Jeff Ogilvy, Aaron Badley, Robert Allenby and Scott Barr will keep you updated on that. But earlier, Bruce Young was able to catch up with both Mark Leishman and Greg Chalmers. Mark Leishman, an opening round of 73 here at the US Open. You fought back after uh, an early bogey. How did you feel about the day? Felt pretty good about the day. Uh, like you said, fought back after a bogey on can't remember which hole, but it was it was early um, three. on three. Yeah, uh, so just um, laid back a little bit too far. Just sort of got 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 stuck with the uh, cold conditions this morning, and um, yeah, left myself a four iron in. But um, played pretty well. Um, made a good birdie on six, and then uh, just sort of held it for a while and um, made a few really good pars um, and then you know, a couple of bogeys on the back nine but it's pretty easy to do around here. This is only your second US Open, it is truly the ultimate test isn't it? It is, it tests every part of your game, um, if you're not driving it well you've, you've got no chance, um, if you're putting bad obviously with the greens as quick as they are you're going to struggle and if your short game's off it's well just like us you know Every bit of your game just gets punished if you're, if you're a little bit off. Well, 2 over 73, it's a solid start, Mark. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hopefully uh, improve on that tomorrow. Um, hopefully we play tomorrow. Hopefully see what these storms do this afternoon. But, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens and, yeah, have a good one tomorrow. All the best. No worries, thanks. Um, it was US Open tough, but I still think if you drive the ball well, um, particularly if you're one of the longer hitters, you're going to have some opportunities today. I think uh, even though the wind's picking up a little bit, I think there's some chances out there for guys. It's one of those courses, if you get behind the eight ball early, it's hard to get it back, isn't it? Yeah, correct. I was two over reasonably early. Uh, unfortunately, one of them on the back of a three putt, um, you know, with a nine iron into the green, you make bogey. That's not good. Didn't birdie the par five six hole that I could reach. Um, and and then didn't, and bogeyed number nine, the other par five. But granted, that hole was I had to lay up with a three wood for crying out loud. It was a long way today, so um, there was a lot that was difficult about it. Probably the eleventh hole where I made double was the ugliest hole of the day. But every other bogey I made came from being out of the fairway and just hitting a poor iron shot. So that's encouraging. I think I can fix that. Um, but whether I could fix that and turn that into birdies is another thing. Well, despite your slow start, they don't call them US Opens for nothing. An opportunity to make progress tomorrow. All the best then. Oh, no, no problem. Thank you very much. Uh, big scores already being posted. Some huge numbers. It is a golf course where you really need to attack the front nine and try and hang on through the back nine. Jason Day made a very solid start to his round. It's his first US Open appearance. He's played in all three other majors. So this will complete the set. And... Uh, he had a very strong round. Let's let's have a little listen to his uh, conversation with Bruce Young after the round. Well, Jason, you're now an established and credentialed player on the PGA Tour, but this is your first US Open. Were there any nerves on the first tee? Um, no, it was obviously um, it's quite easy. You know, we were out early today, so there wasn't as many people as there was as I thought thought there was. So, um, you know, it was. Uh, it was a fun time out there. It was a good, uh, tough test of golf out there, and I really enjoyed myself. Well, you hit a great drive down the first, but then uh, after hitting a good approach, three putted from behind the hole. But from there on, you fought your way back, yeah. including that brilliant birdie at the 10th, mm -hmm. and uh, then the double at 14. Talk us through the double. Yeah, you know, I just, on 14, I just drove it right a little bit, and it was in and some thick rough and I you know, lashed out of the rough and I had five yards left to uh, onto the front edge of the green. So, you know, it wasn't too hard of a pitch shot going up that hill and just left it 20 foot short and then hit my first one three foot pass and then missed the, one, missed the next one coming down. Obviously, it's, uh, you know, you just, when, when it's coming down the hill, you've got to get them online because if they don't, then they're going to go at least five, six foot pass. So, you know, had a good putt uh, to hold for, for a double um, coming back up. So, you know, overall, very happy with, you know, obviously, except for the double, but uh, happy with the game today. It was good. Yeah, well, absolutely. You bounced back quickly with the birdie at 15. Yeah, no, it was, you yeah, know, that was, that was probably one of the best birdies I've ever had in my life. You know, I hit 
I drove it well, well right, hit a tree, hit a car path, bounced well right into um, the marquee tents and then got a drop out. It was a side, side left to right side hill and about 220 yards, hit a cut hybrid out to about 30 feet on the green and um, hold that putt, which was really nice to get back, at, back to even path. Jason, you've played here previously in PGA Tour events. How does this setup differ to those events? Yeah, obviously, you know, uh, I think it's a, the sixth hole is a par five now. Um, before we played that as a par four, but uh, you know, with the USGA coming in and redoing the course and lengthening the course, and obviously with the rough, the progressive rough, you know, it's uh, it's a lot different. It's harder, you know. I, I, also, I think um, when it comes to playing a major, everyone kind of tightens up a little bit and that's why you don't see really deep scores but it's very very hard right now to shoot any anything decent out there you know three under is leading right now so that's a really really good score out there today so overall you're delighted with your start very very happy yeah i'm you know, happy where i am you know i think uh you know if i can shoot one every day from here on in yeah you know we'll see how it goes at the end of the week great start jason all the best thanks mate cheers However, Nick O'Hearn did after his 6 over 77 and he caught up with Bruce Young following his round. Well, Nick, a round that started so promisingly didn't really end that way. No, unfortunately, I uh, got off to a great start, birdied the first hole, and that was my only birdie for the day, unfortunately. Uh, I would have taken 17 pars after that, but now the back nine killed me. It's a, it's a tough golf course, um, very long, and um, unfortunately, uh, I just had one of those finishes which you, you don't really want at a US Open. So, um, you know, hopefully I can get back in it tomorrow with a good round. I felt like I played played pretty well all day. I just uh, was on the wrong side of everything. So It's a golf course a bit like that. If you get it going the wrong way, it's hard to turn it around. Yeah, exactly. I missed a few fairways today by about a foot, and uh, that just puts you out of position. So, um, you know. Obviously, I shouldn't hit it there, but you're a bit stiff when you miss fairways by a foot, I guess, and, uh, and you haven't got a shot. So um, it's, uh, it's what you expect at a US Open. The conditions are going to be uh, about as tough as it gets. And, um, you know, scoring obviously is not going to be very low. So if I can maybe shoot par or a little better tomorrow, I can uh, put myself in a good position for the weekend. The conditions early were pretty well perfect, but the back nine got pretty breezy. And I'd imagine around here it's quite fluky. It is, yeah. I mean, the 10th tee shot today, the par three over water, when it's gusting into you, it's not a lot of fun. So uh, I was happy to escape with a three there and just move on. But the, the 11th hole was uh, 500 yard par four playing straight into the wind. So, you know, a little uphill, I couldn't reach it in two. So that's a pretty tough par four. Um, the conditions on the back nine were definitely a lot, lot harder. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. Well, Nick, the great thing about US Opens, you know that with a reasonable round tomorrow, you can work your way back into the tournament. Yeah, I've had bad starts like this before and, uh, and had good finishes, so uh, it's definitely not over. All the best. All right. Thanks, mate.